to winner's finals here between your favorites, uh, Jackal and Zomba. So let's see which, uh, you know, if the graphic gets to stay the same this week. This match again, it's it's always so interesting. Even commentating week out, like week in, week out, it's something that you always look at and it feels like it's constantly changing. These players, again, when you face someone like eight, nine tournaments, like in grand finals in a row, like it's really tough to not start training more for the player than you are for the character itself. And it's so difficult because both these players play these characters like no one else in a way. There's no other players who play Wolf or play Rob exactly like Jack or Zamba do. So it's really interesting to watch this week in and week out. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, I regret that. I don't like watching that. Yeah, it looks like Zamba tried to shark through the platform with the up air, and then Jack, uh, Wolf's up smash said, you thought. Uh. <laughs> So it, again, needless to say, you know that's a a you know a lead for Jackal here. Uh, but again, this matchup is so gross. Again, the word volatile is such a, uh, a overused buzzword, but you kind of have to you know call it like it is here. You know, despite the fact that Jackal's up right now, he could easily get edge guarded or gimped like incredibly early by Rob. Mm -hmm. So as long as Jackal's able to keep this pressure up and you know able to you know play around the gyro, play around the danger buttons of Rob. Uh, much easier said than done, obviously, but, you know, uh, you know, so far, doing pretty all right. I, I could be mistaken, but if I remember correctly, the past couple matches where these two have fought each other, it's kind of been the story to tell of Jackal taking an early commanding lead and Zaba really able, as we see here, a 3-1 lead now for Jackal. But we, I remember consistently seeing Zaba kind of come out of nowhere and start to take a really big turnaround to this game. We see it almost immediately. One move, one quick kill. And right now, we may be seeing the second kill to tie it up. Yep. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> it's the story to tell, man. Yeah, the Benny Hill theme is just constantly playing in my head whenever these characters like play each other. Like, I'm aging myself poorly there. Okay, that was kind of nice. Shine extend extensions are, you know, so few and far between, but they're so sick when they happen. All right, again, just both players trying to play around the danger buttons right now. Again, the back hit in there, you know, gonna buy Zamba a little bit of time there. Jackal again, okay, patiently waiting, you know, uh, in between the gyro, picking it up, and again, you know, utilizing it in his own, you know, ledge trapping, uh, just adding another complex layer to, you know, getting around Rob uh, at the ledge. Yeah, right now, 124%, 133% on Zamba right here. He needs to get these, this quick damage. Again, we know Rob is this character that can really rack on this damage quick. He needs to just control the stage, needs to stay on stage as much as possible, get this damage up, get Wolf off stage as quick as possible. He wants to take the stock as quick as they possibly can and get Jackal off stage as quick as possible. All right, again, uh, okay, able to cross up with the uh, landing back air. Uh, so, again, despite getting a little bit sweaty at the end there, Jackal able to uh, clutch out that game. Uh, I believe I saw a signal for the run back, so I believe, I'm assuming we're going to see a PS2 uh, all set between these guys. Both these guys hate losing to each other, so. I mean, again, when when you face so much in a finals position and they, they constantly trade back and forth, wouldn't you hate it as well? Wouldn't you, like, go home and be like, oh, I know I could have done that? <laughs> yeah, just, like, swearing up and down on my mom's car about how I can't stand these guys. <laughs> but God, I hate it here. Oh, oh brother. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. I, I really hate it here right now. Well, that is going to be the first stock going to Zamba here in uh, you know, uh, electric fashion. You know, again, Rob's down air. Uh, you know, huge move, uh, <laughs> active for a long time, and you know, very, very good at punishing those uh, you know linear and low recoveries. And uh, Jackal gonna get flushed immediately to start out the second game. So already gonna have to play off the back foot. Yeah. Again, really, it uh, kind of like I said before, it's it's kind of the tail of the tape to see one of these guys take an advantage super quick and then the other turn around midway through the game and so right now Zaba taking complete control 117 damage is a big gap however the stage control so far has been very much in Zamba's favor but Jackal trying to change that with the back throw coming out Zamba 
recovering high, going all the way up to the blast zone, be able to come back down the platform. Wow, those jumps, just nothing able to come though. Yeah, Jackal trying to get, you know, a beta defensive option out of that, you know, exchange into the platform, but, you know, Zamba not uh, giving Jackal what he wants, and that's an air dodge or a spot dodge. So, you know, Zamba gonna continue to hold on to this lead. And again, Rod being able to do that is what makes his character so complex to ledge trap. You know, being able to stall his recovery and, you know, poke through with up air, you know, poke through with uh, Nair or jump gyro. You know, there's a lot of options to be had here as Jackal gets on the board, but wow, Zamba was uh, yeah. looking good. Incredible play, just incredible patience coming out from Zamba. This there's a mindset for a lot. I know, especially this is not mainly as prevalent in higher, a uh, higher rank and more skilled players. But I know there's a mindset with a lot of players that you want to get back to stage as soon as possible. You don't technically, you don't necessarily like being off stage towards the blast zones as much. But j someone like Rob and someone like Zamba just clearly able to take as much time and use and use as much time and be as patient as possible in that moment. It's just such a great mindset and such great ability to have in that moment. And you see it right there coming out from Zamba. Yeah, to see Zamba again continuing to extend this lead here. Jackal's starting to cook a little bit at the ledge, but again, Zamba gonna do you know, what Rob does best and that is uh, able to bypass the ledge. Uh, but the Jackal anticipating the landing on the platform, gonna have an up smash there to meet him, so. Yeah, no setup or anything, but that just, just able to just see the landing and immediately hit that up smash like it was nothing. But 97% now on Jackal. Again, we've seen Rob kill at much less percent, so will not take too much. Bad position for Jackal in the moment. Wow, clanking with that gyro, but able to make it back to ledge still. I love just using the dash back to kick the gyro away to you know bypass it at the ledge. Ooh, okay, not able to get, um, you know, a, a follow-up out of, uh, you know, the rolling. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh my god. No, right, thank oh. you. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay, gets the parry on the nair. That's so huge at these late game percents. You know, when you know Rob's going to be sniffing for that. You can just see Zamba in the player camp too, just getting really frustrated with his options and just kind of, be, just kind of saying to himself, what do I have to do here? had the really huge percentage lead coming into this. <laughs> wow! The gyro confirm into the up air on the platform. Still the 140 to 157 now. Remind me, this is best of three. All Jackal needs to do is no take way. this last stock and he moves on to the grands. Yeah, Jackal uh, getting a gift from the gods here. Oh, okay, Jack, uh, Zamba able to get out of the corner with the dash attack. Jackal avoids the gyro. Both players... <laughs> Really uh, trying not to force it right now. Trying to, you know, still be as patient as possible. Nair almost going to do it. 184. My gosh. 96. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. That's how that ends. Just the invincibility on ledge just running out. Oh, my God. The Nair from Rob coming out on the ledge. That's going to take it. Zamba. Bringing that nail biter of a game two and bringing it to a game three to decide who, which one of these two will enter grand finals. Maybe enter grand finals first of the two. We have to see still. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was rough. <laughs> you know, you, you hate to see it if you're uh, if you're a Jackal fan, but you love to see it if you're a Zamba fan. So, you know, Zamba, all, you know, avoiding the the choke, you know, able to. Uh, you know, uh, bring it to at least a game three here. So, you know, let us see, see how it, uh, you know, shakes down here. You, I, I must mention, Koopa, you called the story correctly. As soon as that Nair hit, as soon as that kill screen was shown, you saw Jackal with the run it back signal. You saw that this game was going to a complete PS2 set. Yeah, I, I think, you know, no shenanigans uh, to be found here. No counterpicking, just, you know, good old fashioned, uh, you know, PlayStation 2. <laughs> I can't concentrate when you make me laugh so much, man. Jesus. Anyway, oh, I, hey, hey, man, you do that surgery. I'm trying to lighten the mood here. Oh uh, yeah, I appreciate <laughs> it. the pain. The pain meds only do so much. Ooh, up tilt coming out on the from the platform from below platform. Jackal taking that first stock. 103 percent though does not take much here to take that first stock for Zamba. But Jackal, oh, there we go. I was gonna say doing a really good job playing defensive, 
but all it takes is Zombo running away for two seconds only to come back and to hit him with that back air and say, actually, I'm not running away. Yeah, you got to be real, you know, careful at these late percents, man. Rob having so many, you know, options to be able to kill you. Uh, so, you know, again, at, when the game is even, obviously, you know, it goes without saying, like, <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, going to be better for, you know, both players involved here. But he gets, let's see who's going to be able to pull away here as both players, again, doing a good job keeping it close. Oh, missing that down smash coming out from the gyro hit. But uh, Zamba still trying to keep as much pressure on and as much damage on Jackal as possible. Spot dodge coming out, avoiding the grab from Jackal. Backer's just missing thanks to that air dodge. Just a lot of reads just being missed here, but it's also just good play coming out from their opponent's suit. Again, these guys know each other so well. Like, I don't, I can't remember the last time so many players have played, e like two specific players have played each other so many times in a single like bracket setting so often, especially in recent memory. These guys know each other better than almost any other players uh, in our region. So it's obvious that these kind of reads that you would expect to see aren't really necessarily hitting. Both players trying to uh, find the killing blow here. Zamba is the one with the higher percent. Again, going to do, uh, you know, that Rob thing of just escaping the ledge, you know, taking that uh, element of Rob's uh, Wolf's gameplay away from him. But Jackal still, you know, doing a good job getting the punishes on landing. You know, doing a good job, tra uh, just as good a job uh, trapping there as he would on, uh, you know, ledge. Rob with so many versatile options there again. Slowly coming up from below the ledge and still even able to have the up air that can go through the stage and just get your opponent away from ledge so quick. Just again, so many options at their disposal. From the top, Jackal taking that second stock off Zombo. 138 though. Uh, three minutes into this match, but Jackal quickly putting on that percentage, quickly taking back stage control yet again. Alright, let's see how it's going to shake out here as Jackal, you know, sitting on the lead here and able to pull away just a little bit but still has to be very very uh mindful of you know of what rob's uh killing options are again uh zamba coming up just short uh you know on any sort of punish there but you know still able to get the kill and even it up stock wise zamba falling down from platform trying to get with the nair from above Right now, low percent on Jackal. Needs to find a way to rack that percent up quick. Getting those up tilts into the upper. Starting to rack up that percent that he desperately needs in this moment. Again, this is the last game of this set. Whoever takes this last stock heads into Grand Finals. And whoever loses has to go through the gauntlet now to get there again. But we're seeing here Jackal taking that quick percentage lead. Sage control. Zamba just again right back on the attack. These guys trade back and forth consistently. There's never a moment where one is controlling the stage for most of the match. They're constantly trading it. All right, both players are looking for their scary buttons here. Shoots the gyro up close. That's going to get shield grabbed. The jack once again setting up camp at the ledge. Ooh, Eftel is going to just straight up miss. The jackal's still going to get a grab out of it. Zamba able to uh, get back to the ledge. There we'll catch, and that's going to be all uh, she wrote right there. Again, Rob, uh, you know, Rob being a bigger body character, going to have a harder time getting around, uh, you know, the uh, plethora of ledge trapping options that Wolf has there. And Zamba, you know, despite, you know, uh, again, putting up a good fight again, these guys play literally every week. So, like, there's not, there's not much else to be said that hasn't been said already. Uh, but, hey, Jackal coming out on top there. Moving on into winner side of Grands. Yeah, Jer Jersey taking this round at least in that, in that what seems like a never ending. It's like it's like that movie series that like you know will forever get sequels and will never end. And the villain just keeps coming back. They constantly are just they will be battling for eternity. It feels like. But you're saying Zamba's Michael Myers? No, l listen, evil dies tonight. No, but <laughs> but right now Jackal at least taking that edge in that set. But we, who knows? We may see the run back later tonight in that Grands. But we have a couple more matches before we get to that instance there. Yep. Yep. And listen, like, you know, uh, we want to say it's New Jersey versus New York. Staten Island might as well just be like DLC New Jersey. Like, it's New Game Plus. 